Today I would be doing unboxing of Redmi Note 5 Pro and the entire video is fast forwarded as you can see it already. This phone comes with 5.99 inches Full HD Plus resolution, 4000 mAh battery and the phone is made in China as you can see on the box. Uh, while unboxing I noticed a few things that it is little heavy, you get a um, back cover, the charger is 5V 2A, not a fast charger. Although it does support with charge uh, 4.0 but you will have to buy uh, extra charger for that. And phone did complete its initial setup in one and a half minutes. The battery was 71% and uh, the temperature was somewhere around 34-33 degrees. We get 54.15 GB of storage, out of that is available somewhere around 53.15. It has Android 7.1.1. Now I downloaded CPUC application and when I installed it, I got to know that this is an entire optical process and a few wrong things about it and I had to go to the specifications of Snapdragon 636 to actually re-verify it. And I must say the CPUZ does not give you information which is correct all the time. It did mention that this is a 10 nanometer processor, however it is 14 nanometer processor. The camera was most talk about this phone. I captured uh, photos with bokeh effect and a few selfies as well. And uh, bokeh mode was you know okay, not kind of effective. The pro mode had very less options. The detailed camera review is on its way. So I compared a, a photo that I captured from Redmi Note 5 Pro with my Honor 6X in the same mode, the bokeh effect mode. And I must say the image is uh, good on Redmi Note 5, but, but the, the depth and the color that are Honor 6X that are given by Honor 6X AI is no match for Redmi Note 5 Pro. So this camera is a slightly disappointment over here, at least in terms of bokeh effect. Now the selfie, Xiaomi has done a really great job selfie camera the 20 megapixel but you know it is good only for taking a beauty mode selfie the temperature kept around 34 35 degrees all the time and then i decided to go for an update which was downloaded it was 1.6 gigabytes of update and it took hardly one and a half minutes to complete the update as you can see while updating as well the phone's temperature remained constant somewhere around 34 35 i did not see much of heating while setting up the phone, using it for a uh, general purpose and updating as well. Once I updated it, I was uh, expecting there would be at least security patch. And uh, the moment I connected it to the Wi-Fi, there was system update available. It was just for face unlock, nothing else. I was expecting at least a security update. And I set up my fingerprint that was quick passed. Didn't give any sort of issues to me. But in face lock, there was some obnoxious, annoying thing. I didn't like them because uh, whenever I tried to configure my face and try to unlock it, it would always say couldn't recognize, couldn't recognize. And I had to raise the phone above uh, at, the, at the level of my uh, face and then only it would unlock it. This was the initial impression of the phone and I would certainly come up with the dedicated camera, gaming, performance and heating and a couple of more things there would be dedicated videos for this till then stay tuned subscribe to my channel like this video share it across your uh, buddies and jai hind jai maharashtra